From Jada Toys, it's Transformers The Last Night diecast vehicles. So we've got these 164 scale vehicles right here. And also the 124 scale right here. Optimus, Crosshairs, Bumblebee, Hot Rod, and Barricade. So 164, 124, but now check it out. From Jada Toys, thanks for sending these out. We've got the brand new 132 scale right here. Optimus, Crosshairs, Bumblebee, a very hard to find hot rod, and now Barricade. So now we've got all these die casts. We're gonna check these 132s out and see if they're any different than the other versions and see what kind of details and maybe some other cool things that they have on them. Okay, so let's check these out really quickly in case you've never seen them before or you want to be reminded of what kind of features they have. So the 164 Transformer Optimus Prime. Got some you know good paint, good details. On the bottom has Optimus's head. So that's pretty cool. Rubber tires. Plus they have this whole setup right here with the backdrop. Okay, crosshairs. Similar thing. Has the head on the bottom. Okay, pretty cool small cars. Then we've got Bumblebee right here. Head is on the bottom. Hot Rod. Okay, head is on the bottom. And then Barricade. Very cool police vehicle. I like this Mustang right here. And the head right on the bottom. Okay, so those are the 164s. We'll start back with Barricade right here. It has this removable piece right here. Put that back on. The door is open. Cool blue paint job, that's for sure. Inside has some good details. Keep calm and hail Megatron right there on the side. And if you flip it over, this is what the bottom looks like. Rubbery tires. Decepticon logo. Okay. back opens these doors open straight up get some good details on the inside very cool looking Lambo Centenario okay this is the bottom and the orange orange on alright Bumblebee trunk opens <laughs> not much space in there Hood opens. There's the engine. Doors open. Alright, it's pretty cool details on the inside as well. Nice tail lights. And there is Bumblebee on the bottom. Rubber wheels, they all roll pretty good. Alright, then we're on to crosshairs. Crosshairs, mean Corvette right here. Stingray. Alright, trunk opens right here. Cool console and steering wheel. And all these stand up as well, as long as you open up the back. That is the bottom of crosshairs. Alright. Optimus Prime does not stand up. Unless you can balance it. That's the bottom of Optimus Prime right there. Okay. But he's got six wheels. Doors open. You can kind of see inside the steering wheel. But that's all he opens. It'd be cool if this hood flipped open. That'd be pretty cool. Alright, otherwise there is Optimus. Alright, so let's move on to this 132 scale. Pretty much the same as all the other boxes from Jada. But thanks a lot to Jada for sending these out to check out. And let's open up this Optimus. Okay, and you've got screws on the bottom. Okay, so here we go, out of the package. And so far, it looks exactly the same for sure. The doors don't open. Windows don't go down or anything. Hood, nothing really moves on this. Got the same six wheels. And then the bottom, this is what it looks like. So it's the same Optimus figure. Just no red and blue on the bottom. Okay, so they took away those details. Took away that extra color and paint. 
got a silver symbol on the top. And then you've got these two screw holes of where it's uh, where it stays on the packaging. Otherwise, yep, that is the scale, the 132 scale. And it's got a pretty decent weight to it. Alright, otherwise that is Optimus Prime. Let's move on to crosshairs. Get these screws out of the bottom. Okay, so crosshairs is out and his doors do open. So that's kind of cool. And they got a little bit of snapping action to them, so that's pretty good. Okay, so the doors open, the trunk doesn't open. Does the hood? The hood does not open. So just the doors have a black painted wheel instead of a silver one. So as you can see on this bigger model right here, the 124, it's got a silver chrome steering wheel and shifter. Nothing like that on the 132, okay? But there you go. That's the comparison right there. And then the bottom, same thing, just no paint on cross. There's no green and no green right there. So I guess that's where they make the distinction. You can tell which model you have. Oh, as well as the back here. The tail pipes are not chrome, and there's no transformer uh, license plate as well. Let's see the front. The front's pretty much the same. Okay. But still a very cool die cast figure. Has some great details. Okay, so there is crosshairs. All right, let's move on to Bumblebee. Screws in the bottom. Okay, so here's Bumblebee out of the package. Uh, right away, you've got headlights that are black. <laughs> and so this one actually has headlights, a plastic clear plastic for the headlights. Um, you, know, you got a chrome kind of silver steering wheel on the inside. How about the back? These are just painted red, whereas these kind of have, they look like brake lights. And no chrome tail pipes. Otherwise, he does have a license plate back there. And doesn't have the carbon fiber type roof and uh, hood. Well, this is just kind of painted black. Alright, but his doors do open. Okay, so that's what you can see on the inside. Okay, so there is Bumblebee. The wheel's the same. It has the wheels, just doesn't have the disc brakes on the inside or the uh, brake pads that are red. And here's the bottom. And here's the other bottom. Okay, it's silver again. So that is what the 132 Bumblebee looks like. Alright, let's move on to Hot Rod. Hot Rod was very hard to find. But he's out there if you just search hard enough for him. Okay. Now we've got screws on the bottom. One screw. Okay, so here is Hot Rod. And looks pretty similar. The back doesn't open. Uh, had some had some chrome on the engine here. Okay, whereas it's just uh, painted gray on the inside there. Okay. On the front, the headlights are pretty cool because it's actually a clear piece of plastic over some silver paint instead of just painted silver, so that's pretty good to add. Uh, no orange, no orange detailing on the roof, no black roof. Okay, so that's a difference with that. No black right there, little black right there, black plastic piece. Otherwise, pretty close. There's some orange right here on the grill. No orange on that one. Wheels are pretty good. It actually looks like a little black on these wheels. These wheels are all silver. No brake pads or calipers. Or, uh, yeah, or the disc brakes. Okay. And the back. The back had, wow, looks really red for the taillights. And here's just kind of painted orange and then no orange. And this is orange and this is black. And then the tail pipes are not silver. Okay. Otherwise, pretty close. And here we go. Here is the bottom. So you still get the robot on the back of all these, just not painted. Okay. So there it is Hot Rod. Now, on to the last one, which is the Decepticon. The only Decepticon. 
the arcade. And he's got two screws on the bottom. All right, here we go with Barricade. Really good paint. I really like that blue. Okay, these guns don't remove. All right, door is open. Now, this big one had the chrome, let's see, it has a chrome foot pedals, chrome steering wheel, chrome shifter, chrome e-brake, and also a chrome uh, kind of uh, computer screen monitor in there as well. All right, on this one, everything's black. Same things are in the same position, just painted black and no chrome. Okay, keep calm and hail Megatron still on the side. And the headlights are good. Piece of plastic there, a piece of clear plastic. Uh, looks like they got a little silver down here for lights, not right there. Uh, lights right there, the flood, flood lights on the front. And then paint those in there. Which some of this stuff you could actually add your own paint to make it look a little bit more uh, like the other one. Check out these tires. These tires are, looks like they got extra grip traction on them. These are street tires on the 132. I guess I didn't notice that before. Okay, and then the back, no silver tailpipes. And red, painted red tail lights. And that's red plastic. Okay, and then here's the bottom. This is what the bottom looks like. Blue, Decepticon, and the silver. Okay. And then these guns don't remove like on this big one. What you think? You like it better with the guns on or off? Oh yeah, and the trunk opens. Opens right here. Hood doesn't open on this one. Okay. All right, so there you go. There is barricade. All right, so there we go. We've got all three sizes of Transformers: The Last Night diecast vehicles. Very cool to add to the collection. Crosshairs, Bumblebee. Barricade and Hot Rod. The last one and the hardest one to find was right there at 132 scale. Okay, so we've got the 164 scale, the 132 scale, and the 124 scale. All very cool cars from Jada Toys. So thanks to Jada for sending these out. Let me know in the comments down below who you like the best and maybe what scale you like the best which one has the best features and which one you'd like to collect the most. All right, well, that's it for this episode of Show & Tell. Make sure you check out my channel for more Transformers The Last Night videos and for more exciting toys. Hey, guys, do you like video games? Well, you need to subscribe to the Show & Tell gaming channel to check out all kinds of awesome and fun gameplay videos. Just watch what game we're going to play next. See you over there.